let's not even say we want to exonerate but I mean to move from the failure and the, col the colossal failure of APC and Buari. What of his antecedents? What of his history? His drug and money laundering deals brought by the US. Do you know what it means that a known drug dealer is the president of a nation? It means countries would not want to sign any deals with us. The countries, most countries will find they will stylishly distance themselves from the country and they will and now to add it to more profiling around the world wherever they see nigerians they believe if you can elect a known drug dealer and we release this news to you it's not as if it's not known the u.s releasing this document is sending a message that oh we know that a drug dealer is about to be your president but here is an evidence that this guy is a drug dealer don't vote for him so if you not vote for him they will not believe that okay it seems all of you in that country, you smoke weed and you, you do drugs. So I'm just telling you that an APC supporter you are watching this video. It means if you want to travel, US government will know that you're a drug dealer too. Because for you to vote for a drug dealer, you are actually, you are obviously a drug dealer too. Visit my blog www.my2centstoday.com and subscribe to my weekly newsletter. The advantages of subscribing are 1. Having access to the exclusive summary of my next topic of discussion days before my content is available on all social media platforms. 2. Exclusive right to send emails about observations and contributions that you may have. Finally, the subscription is free. What are you waiting for? Subscribe to my newsletter and let's get started. You know, I have actually come to a conclusion that you can't love Nigeria and be a Tinubu supporter. Take it or leave it. You can argue from today to tomorrow, but any right-thinking Nigerian, any right-thinking Nigerian that loves the country and, and puts Nigeria over any sentiment and believes in the unity of Nigeria would not and would never support Bola Tinubu and APC. You know, Let's go down the memory lane in 2014. At the 2014, Naira to dollar was around, the highest I could remember was, I think it was around 200 or 250 Naira to one dollar. Rise was around 8,000 Naira. Like a lot of things was cheap. The, the, the fall was 85 Naira. Like, and then APC came, they promised everyone and Neds, they promised they're going to change everything. They said security, insecurity was caused by Jonathan because he's not a northerner, he's, he's a genocide, he's trying to kill the northerners. They came with a lot of propaganda, they insulted them and they let El lose. They will promise that if they don't win the election, they, will, they are going to start a civil war. Every, they almost burnt down Nigeria just to have power. They got into power and everything they campaigned against Will of Jonathan, they did worse. They did worse. As you speak, Naira is now 700 plus. Rice is around 46,000. Fall is around 250 Naira. There's even still fuel scarcity. And one would think that this APC is going to be everywhere. They will be on television apologizing to Nigerians begging for another chance to make a difference or telling us they're going to bring a change but no they are going from one tv station to another tv station to gaslight us to tell us they've done well and insult they will go around insult journalists they insult uh, tv journalists like they are nobody anywhere you see any apc spokesperson they'll go online they insult anybody they see. You know, I, I'm not just coming to conclusion that Tinubu supporters don't love Nigeria, but there's actually a social experiment that showed that that shows that Tinubu supporters are, are, are they are anti-Nigeria and they don't love Nigeria. And I've I've come to conclusion that there are four types of people who support Tinubu. Number one, the tribal bigots. The people who believe no matter what happens, they have to support their tribesmen. Like they don't care if the person doesn't have the qualities to bring change or bring good governance. As long as the person comes from their tribe and speaks their language, they will support the person. They don't even care whatever happens. Number two, we have the party men, the card carrying member of APC, that they don't have any job they are doing but to claim that they are party men. 
Number three, we have um we have the elites and we have the people that know someone in APC that they 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 gain they gain from they gain the loot that they, they gain that the, the corrupt system favors them the elites that the corrupt system favors them we have those set of people too then we now have the last set of people these are the people that they have mental health issue and they deserve to be in psychiatric hospital taking treatment we have them too so before i go deep i'm going to show you this video of someone that did a social experiment with two people. One is a one is a Peter Obi supporter and the other one is a Tinobu supporter. Then I won't I don't let me go deep into the explanation of the video because of time. So you just watch the video. After watching the video, I'm going to continue. And I'm here with Mr. Sunday. Yes, Adejari Akode. Nice meeting you. My name is Mark. So I would like to ask you some few questions that I want you to be very honest about. So next year. Who would you like to vote for? Uh, my vote will go to Labour Party, Mr. Peter Obi. Next year, who would you like to vote for? Be the presidential candidate, right? Yes. I will go for Ashwa Dibal Ahmed, you know. So I want to ask you the second question, and you have to be very honest. So this is 2,000 naira, okay. and this is 100 dollars. This 100 dollars, if you pick it, you will suffer for the next four years. But this 2,000 naira, if you pick it, is for a better Nigeria. So if I ask you to choose from these two, which one will you go for? I will choose the one other dollar. Well, when it comes to money, we all know that uh, everybody likes uh, uh, money because uh, it's very important. And uh, the dollar, hundred dollar, wow, wow, wow. It's a big temptation, you know. <laughs> but um, if it is for a better Nigeria, I think I would prefer to go for the Naira. What made you want to go for the hundred dollars? Because I believe in my country, Nigeria, and uh, I want the betterment of this nation. Okay. The reason I'm going for $100 is that if I'm changing the $100 now mm -hmm. to the rate of the $1,500 they wanted to give me, I can make my own better life with the $100 okay. than the $1,500 they wanted to give me that make profit on the next one. If I ask you to choose one right now, which one will you go for and pick it right now? Uh, since you have told me that dollar will cause more pain, I would prefer to go for the Naira. Now pick one. I will pick the Naira. So, if you choose it, you want to suffer for the next four years? It's you that believe that I will suffer, but I won't suffer if I choose the one thousand for one hundred dollars for one hundred dollars. So, let's go. I go for the other dollars. So, guys, he went for the hundred dollars. So, you have a belief that Nigeria is going to be better, right? I have one hundred percent belief. Once we vote in the right man for the job, I have one hundred percent belief that Nigeria will be great and it will be better. That's what's up. Now you've watched the video. So what did you get from that video? The Peter B supporter said he would rather pick the 2K and believe Nigeria will be good. But the Tinubu supporter picked the $100 and said he doesn't care whether Nigeria is good or not, but he just wants the money that will serve his current state of mind. Here's one thing you should take out from these two set of people. One is actually the both of them, they are hungry and they need money. Quite all right. If the guy that picked 2K is not as if he's richer than the guy that picked 100 dollars but you could see that there's passion that okay, this guy that picked 2K believes that there's nothing more valuable than Nigeria that works and you and there's dignity of labor for you in the country. But the other Tinubu supporter just wants the money quick, quick, and believes. He, I even said he doesn't believe that Nigeria can be great again. These are the kind of people we have. We, we are battling with. We are, these are the set of people that don't believe in one Nigeria. They don't believe in Nigeria. They don't believe in anything. In my next video, I'm going to talk about this so-called Yoruba nation agitation, and I've and I've. And I've had a, crit a critical thinking myself, and I've thought about it that what could be the undertone of this Yoruba nation? I'm going to go deep about the Yoruba nation agitation in my next video. That will be my next video. Honestly, what I met to Nobu coming and, and, and him telling us that he wants to save us from Buhari's administration. Because come to think of it, APC is the current party in power and they are the ones that have put us inside this mess no cap 
no cap. They are the ones that have put us inside this mess. So what are we now? What what are we saying is that APC has actually placed us inside this mess. And brother Ahmed Tinubu came with one nonsense manifesto, which he called renewed hopelessness, because that's what I would call it. It's, it's called renewed hopelessness. So he has come with this with, with this manifesto called renewed hopelessness that you just did copy and paste, plagiarizing what they brought in 20, the same lies they printed in 2015, in 2014, 2015. They are bringing it back in 2022, 2023. Like the people that they are bringing the manifesto to, they are illiterate, they, they didn't go to school, they don't have sense of reasoning. They, they think everybody is stupid like their supporters. They think everybody has mental health issues like their supporters. So, you know what the the way I can just the the way I can just represent this whole thing is like the the leader of a kidnapping uh, uh, the, the the leader of a kidnapping group telling his victim that he's the only one that can save he, he, that can save him on her from the kidnapper's death. Like the person that kidnapped you in the first place is telling you, oh, you know what? Don't call the police. Don't call the soldier. If you want. If you want someone to rescue you, I'm your only hope for you to rescue, for, for you to be rescued inside the kidnapper's den. And it was that guy that kidnapped you. It was the leader of the kidnapping pin, of the kidnapping team, the kingpin of this kidnapping group. He's not telling you that he's the one that can save you. Okay, now let's not even say we want to exonerate what I meant to move from the failure and the, col the colossal failure of APC and Buari. What of his antecedents? What of his history? His drug and money laundering deals brought by the US. Do you know what it means that a known drug dealer is the president of a nation? It means countries would not want to sign any deals with us. The countries, most countries will find they will stylishly distance themselves from the country and they will and now to not need to more profiling around the world wherever they see nigerians they believe if you can elect a known drug dealer and we release this news to you it's not as if it's not known the u.s releasing this document is sending a message that oh we know that a drug dealer is about to be your president but here is an evidence that this guy is a drug dealer don't vote for him so if you not vote for him they will not believe that okay it seems all of you in that country, you smoke weed and you, you do drugs. So I'm just telling you, either an APC supporter, you are watching this video. It means if you want to travel, US government will know that you are a drug dealer too. Because for you to vote for a drug dealer, you are actually, you are obviously a drug dealer too. This is what we want to get ourselves into. And if you don't know, we should just know now. This is no joke. This is the future of 200 million plus Nigerians, the most popular black nation. This is the future. This is our future we are toying with. And I'm very sure that a majority of Nigerians, up to 90 million of Nigerians, even more, we have sense. And we are good people. We are law abiding and we don't do drugs. We are not thieves. We are honest people. We, 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 believe, in, we believe in dignity of labor. We don't steal. And I'm very sure that this, the, the future of Nigerians and the future of our coming generations, our children, our great grandchildren lies on our shoulder. I mean, I'm doing the little I can do by releasing videos and trying to and trying to preach the gospel. And I'm very sure in the future, some might, might stumble on this video, maybe in the 10, in 10, 5, 20 years from now, some might stumble on this video. It should be on tape and should be on record that I I'm not a tribal bigot and I never and I will never support a drug dealer to be the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Thank you.